Hello everyone, Andy here, hope you're well. So if you haven't seen, I just done the unboxing of the waterproof Swell Pro drone, which I'll pop up a link to that video somewhere along the top of here now, and it'll also be in the description. So what I wanted to do was do a, an initial kind of setting up of the drone, so you'll be ready to fly. This way, if you've searched for this, you won't have to go through the instructions, because I'll be doing it all for you. Okay, so when you've got the drone out of the bag, you will find um, a spanner, which is actually supplied by them, and that is to get the nuts sort of on and off the propellers. Now you have two types of propellers, because uh, one set goes on counterclockwise, and the other set goes on clockwise. So the propellers that go on clockwise will be labelled with a 6045R, and then the counterclockwise ones, they will be labelled as just 6045. So what you have to do is, I'll see if I can get this picked up on the camera. This has the 6045R, and that are, these are the propellers that go on clockwise. And these are the ones that go onto the uh, motors and the nuts with the black nuts. And the 6045s go on counterclockwise on the silver nuts. So just take the screw off the top, have the uh, sort of embossed text facing upwards, just press that down. Now these go on clockwise. Now they do get really tight towards the top because these are nylon screws. But what you've got to do is you need to use the spanner, use either end, and then trying to grip the motor, you just keep tightening and tightening until it won't go any further. Now, putting these on the second time round was a lot easier, but the first time I actually did these, I had to use a rubber glove just because I couldn't actually grip the motor, it was spinning out of my hands. So now moving on to one of the other ones, which are counterclockwise, which are the black tipped nuts. These are the ones labeled 6045R. Place the propeller on tightly. Replace the screw. Now these tighten on counterclockwise. And just repeat this process for all four propellers. So here are the components that you'll need to charge the battery up for the drone. So the first thing you want to do is plug this into the side of here. And then you have this cable here and just make sure you put it into the right section, which is, it's got like four holes, it's four pins. Just slide that and it should click into place. And then the little end here goes into the top of the battery here. Again, just make sure you do put it in the right way around. Now the drone arrives with a two pin, but um, we're in Britain here and it's we need the three pin uh, plug socket. But I've got an adapter, which is no problem. So just put that in the wall and turn it on. Now the actual battery compartment with that rubber seal can actually be quite hard to pull off because of the vacuum seal that it creates when you've got this. This seems to uh, be uh, something that came in the case. Now this isn't in the instructions and I was wondering what is this for? But my only conclusion is that if you are struggling to get the battery compartment off and you can't actually get a good grip under these sort of two little arms, then this piece of metal seems to slide underneath them. And if I pull while holding the drone, it comes off quite easily. So it'd be interesting to know actually from Swell Pro if that is the actual use of this, but it doesn't actually say anything about it in the instructions. So the first thing, if you want to be recording and taking pictures, then what you want to do is you want to get yourself a micro SD card and this slides into this little slot here, which if I just put it in, there we go. Then with the battery, making sure that the connectors are in the same direction as the uh, drone on the inside. All you'll need to do is place this inside and click push that into place. So then we need to get the case back onto the top, press firmly down, make sure that is flat. So you wanna make sure this is an airtight seal and what's quite a nice little feature with the Spirit drone is this. If you just twist that round, 
then what will happen is that will keep that nice and tight. So that is how it should look when you've finished. So if you want to just check that the connection is correct, just press the button. And you just heard it beep, the propellers moved slightly and you can see the red and green indicator lights flashing. Now for the controller to charge it up, you'll need the little rubber seal here at the bottom. You'll have to pop that off and then that'll give you access to the charging port underneath. Then get your charging cable and make sure you put it in the right way around. Now the controller uses a USB charger, so just pop that into there, in the wall, turn it on. So during charging, the remote control power button will glow blue, and when the charging is complete, the blue light will turn off. Now the remote control and the antennas, we have a 2.4 gigahertz, and we have a 5.8 gigahertz. Now it'd be hard to get this wrong because one, as you can see there, is labeled 2.4 gigahertz and vice versa for the 5.8 gigahertz is also labeled on the top there as well. Now these are easy enough. These just go on the top and they screw on clockwise. Get the 5.8 gig. Now what it does say in the instructions is for the best reception is the left hand, the 2.4 gigahertz, is to have that horizontal. So it says to leave that in that direction and then for the right hand one to be vertical. And off other experience, I would always have it more up this way. So you're gonna get the best reception off towards the direction of the drone. Now for one of the coolest things on a new piece of tech, is the peeling off of the labels on the screens. That is satisfying and you will never see the screen look so shiny again. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna be able to adjust the camera settings. This is probably one of the first things you wanna do before going out and flying. And what you need to search for is exactly is Swell Cam 2. So you wanna go click on that and download it. And then what we're gonna to need to do is to connect the app to the uh, Spiri Plus's camera. So what we need to do is power the drone on. So just press and hold, and now you can see the lights are flashing. Then what we need to do is underneath the drone, here, there is there's a little Wi-Fi symbol. Now what we need to do is we need to press the Wi-Fi. So when we've pressed the button underneath, hopefully you can pick this up, but the little green light is now flashing red as well, which is good, that's what we want. So then if I just bring my phone back in while I'm still recording, what we need to do is we need to go to the settings Go to the Wi-Fi, look at your Wi-Fi hotspots, and we're hoping to see a Swell Pro, which we are. Now, if we click on that. Now, the password is, let me see how many, it's zeros. But I just need to make sure I get the right amount. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Connect. So there we go, it says it's connected. So now if I go to the uh, Swell Cam app, to access the photos and media, yes, allow. Now this is showing me uh, sort of how much space I've got there on the memory card that's installed. Um, let's have a look in the top left, we've got video mode. And I guess if I click the top right, Yes, that's photo mode. So photo size, we've got 4,000 by 3,000, 4,608 by 2,592. Got burst mode, so you can do how many pictures a second. Interval shooting and a time-lapse selfie. So let's click at the top right and go back to the video. So if we click uh, here, we've got the resolution. So we've got 4K at 30 frames a second, we've got 2.7K at 60 frames a second, 1080p at 120 frames a second and also 60 frames a second and 30, uh, but then we've also got 720p at 240 frames a second. So I think when I'm going to be doing my test I'll probably try the 4K. Uh, but maybe if I want to do slightly smoother footage, then I will try 60. Now, you've got to bear in mind that when you are changing these settings, when you're connected to the Wi-Fi of the drone, 
this is when you need to do all your settings. When you've disconnected and you're actually out there recording with the controller, you cannot change any of the settings. Electric stability is on. Yep, we want to keep that on. So that means it'll adjust the camera a little bit for any movement. Recording format, we've got MOV and MP4. Video format in PAL and NTSC. Uh, if we go to the bottom left, what we've got here, we've got our settings. So you can actually change things a lot more uh, manual and you've got the different white balance. Um, now I know this was just tilted towards the carpet, so apologies for having no fancy background. Um, format storage inside, so you can format the memory card. You've got different uh, metering and you've got a uh, restore uh, factory settings and also about this device. So that's the uh, firmware that we have on the drone. Okay, so we've come outside to do the compass calibration. So the first thing you wanna do is power on the controller and the drone. So press and hold. You hopefully heard that buzz, the logos come up. Now the screen is static just because obviously we've not turned the drone on. So let's turn the drone on, press and hold. and hopefully you just heard the drone there powering up. So we've got initializing on the screen, which hopefully you can see there. So what we want to do now to calibrate the uh, compass of the drone is we need to rapidly switch between the modes like this. And as you can see now, it's asking for the horizontal calibration, rotate the drone clockwise. So if I just put this down and we can look on the screen. So we need to rotate this clockwise Now the screen has changed to saying, let's get that to focus, vertical calibration, clockwise nose down. So I'll just put this down again. And then what we do is we hold the drone down and we rotate and there we go. The screen is now saying initializing. So that means it's worked. What we have to do is wait up to about 30 seconds for the initialization to finish and when that has gone off the screen, which, there we go, that didn't take that long, that means the drone is now ready to fly. Which if I was to press down on the two joysticks, you'll see it'll start up now. And we are ready to go on your first flight. So there we go, hope you enjoyed that video, hopefully it was useful, so you don't have to look at the instructions. By following this video, you'll be able to get the drone all set up safely and ready to fly on your first flight. See you all again soon, bye.